Last week, transgender swimmer Leah Gold won. Leah Thomas won gold in the 500 yards freestyle at the National College Swimming Championships in Atlanta, Georgia. Thomas, a biological male, was allowed to compete against women at the championships because she's been undergoing testosterone suppression treatment for over a year. This photo of Thomas atop the podium has gone viral, sparking a fresh debate about protecting women's sport. For her reaction, let's bring in a fierce advocate for the rights of women and girls, Liberal Senator for Tasmania, Claire Chandler, joining me now from Hobart. Senator, I, I want to put up on the screen for my viewers and for you this tweet from Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, who said, by allowing men to compete in women's sports, the NCAA, that's the National College of Sporting Associations, is destroying opportunities for women, making a mockery of its championships and perpetuating a fraud. Do you agree? Oh, absolutely, Peter. I couldn't have said it better myself. And I think the other really important thing that uh, the Leah Thomas case has really uh, shown and, and catalyzed for people is just how unfair it is to have biological males competing in women's sport. I mean, the, the picture you showed um, says it all when there are three other women on the podium who should be getting gold, silver and bronze, and they're not. They're receiving silver, bronze, and they're in fourth place because a biological male has, uh, as you would expect, pipped them to the post in the pool. And it is clearly demonstrated that it's unfair to have biological males competing in sport. But what we have to remember, Peter, is that this doesn't just apply at the elite levels of sporting competition. This goes right down to the community level. Women and girls are entitled to fairness on and an even playing field at all levels of sport, not just in professional and elite competition. Well, you're spot on because you won't have women at elite level uh, if they're not confident, they don't learn the skills, they don't progress through the lower ranks in sport. We know we have a real trouble keeping young women engaged in sport, particularly through the teenage years. It's one of the reasons we have uh, such a high obesity rate and overweight rates uh, here in Australia, as we do in the United States and elsewhere. But that's part of the solution is, is exercise for young girls. Would your bill, your Save Women's Sport legislation, stop this situation from happening in Australia? I like to think so, Peter. My bill is very clear. It simply states that women and girls have a right to single-sex sport and that sporting clubs and sporting competitions uh, shouldn't have legal action taken against them if they choose to operate single-sex sport for women. So the way that that would play out in Australia is that a swimming competition would rightly choose to offer single-sex sport for women and girls and a competitor like Leah Thomas wouldn't be able to enter. And I've frankly, Peter, been overwhelmed by the positive response that I have received to my bill since its introduction back in February. Uh, I don't think it's any surprise to your viewers, but I genuinely think that the vast majority of Australians agree with the very common sense principles that undermine this bill. And look, it's interesting too, when I looked at that Leah Thomas photograph that went viral, uh, there were a lot of people tweeting and responding underneath it, uh, claiming that they were transgender themselves, but they think this is a backward step for transgender people like them. Now, whether that's true or not, I think it's got, uh, I think this issue has galvanised the debate about women and girls and the feedback you're getting, certainly the feedback I'm getting here, uh, a lot of Australians are very, uh, very proud of you uh, but willing you on in this fight. Um, we saw the Prime Minister support your bill in that recent visit to Tasmania. Uh, Parliament's back next week. How's the response been from your colleagues? Look, the response has been uh, incredibly positive, Peter. I could reel off a very long list of names of, of colleagues who have been supportive of this bill, but uh, the reality is that we have a very short period of time in the sitting schedule uh, next week. We have the budget and then we're going into Senate estimates. And with my colleagues in Labor and the Greens certainly not being supportive of my position in the slightest, uh, I do think that it will be very unlikely, unfortunately, that we'll get around to debating my bill. But the, um, the, the good thing is that I am not up for election uh, at the federal election coming up. I'm halfway through my six year term and regardless of whether it's in this parliament or the next one, I will be seeking to have this bill passed into law. I will continue fighting for women and girls to have mm. fair access to women's you will. sport. I know you will. I know you will. And it can be an election issue if the Prime Minister muscles up on it. Claire Chandler, thank you for your time.